Look, the solicitor representing a Republican prisoner from Derry who's currently being held in the dissident wing of McGabry Prison says he'll apply for a judicial review unless his client receives medical attention. Uh, Kieran Shields, good morning to you. Good morning, Andrew. Before we talk about what happened to your client, who exactly is your client and what charges is he facing? Uh, the client is uh, Christopher O'Kane. Uh, he's currently charged with a significant amount of uh, explosive attacks alleged to have taken place over a two-year period in Derry from 1992 uh, to 1994, uh, along with uh, uh, IRA membership. He had been charged with uh, uh, directing terrorism. Uh, that charge has already been dismissed um, at the Crown Court in Belfast. So what's happened to him now? The position is that we were due to consult with uh, Mr O'Kane. He's currently a Roman prisoner. Uh, he has important uh, court appearances coming up uh, this week and next on Monday. Uh, we uh, were refused access to him uh, on Monday. Um, he had reported that he was one of a number of prisoners within uh, the Row House uh, complex in McGabry who had been uh, assaulted by staff on, on Sunday evening. Um, what do you mean assaulted? Uh, assaulted to the extent that uh, a fellow prisoner is alleged to have uh, had his arm broken and received a significant laceration to his face and that Mr O'Kane uh, himself had been beaten to the extent that he had been passing blood. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr O'Kane said it was a it was very brief contact that but between Sunday and Monday uh, afternoon he had made six separate attempts to be examined by a doctor but none of these uh, requests first were being facilitated. Uh, he is also under psychiatric care. He, he has been refused access to see uh, his uh, psychiatrist. Um, we lodged pre-action protocol correspondence uh, yesterday um, uh, advising the prison service that unless uh, we had confirmation that he was going to receive access to his solicitor and to a medical professional that we would be going into court today. Uh, and what were the circumstances leading up to his assault? What happened essentially? <clears throat> the and well, the information that we have is, is very brief because we have been denied access to him. But uh, he was, he alleges that he was one of a number uh, of prisoners who were assaulted by uh, a uh, riot squad, as they're called within uh, uh, within McGabry. There are ongoing tensions. But why were they? Ass- that- why was he assaulted, Mister Sins? Do you know? Do you know what led up to it? Uh, no, uh, we don't. If we had access to him, uh, I could give you uh, uh, further information mm-hmm. uh, as, as to that. Um, there does seem to have been uh, uh, a development in that uh, I am currently on my way to McGabry, um uh, at the moment. Uh, I have a visit booked with him uh, at 9.30 a.m. We have been told that uh, a nurse has now been able to see him but we have no confirmation that his medication has been reinstated to him, that his psychiatric care uh, has been uh, resumed, and that any injuries he has sustained have been properly uh, photographed. So, so does that service. mean you're, you're going to withdraw your threat then to seek a judicial review? Absolutely not at this stage. Uh, we have to see, first of all, am I going, going to get into this to see the client uh, at 9.30? And, and well, indeed, he confirms he has received some form of... Uh, of of medical treatment, so the situation is very much live uh, for the for the next uh, number of hours. What the prison services are saying is that they have co- had received contact from the prisoner ombudsman, and that uh, an application has been made to secure all CCTV within the wing. Okay, Mr. Shields, we may catch up with you on our lunchtime program just to see what is the uh, updated position as regards your client. But for now, thank you very much indeed for talking to us on the program.